Gentlemen, what up, guys? It's your boy B, man, back in the lab, man. No workout today, but it's still a W. At least not right now. I'm going to get one later. Got a bunch of stuff to take care of. But, yeah, man, uh, today I want to talk about this third world country status that America is, uh, that we're eventually, you know, some places is already there, but we're eventually headed there, man. You know, and, but we're still, Americans are still blessed. That's the bad, um, you know, you know, they're just spoiled. Americans are spoiled. But at the same time, they're blessed to be able to go to a store and buy food and stuff. And the standard of living here in America is just going to take a massive hit, man. And, yeah, you just, you're going to start seeing third world country crimes, man. Third world country just style of living, man. And, yeah, because where I'm at right now, the crime is insane, man. To the point to where you just got family members just often family members man you know what i'm saying you would think like if y'all can't get along just get away from each other distance yourself from that person but man it's just because i've been looking at the crime man, and, and and it's not your normal crime anymore it's not your normal stuff it's just that evil and that, that vile type stuff man to where like even stuff you see like cinderella and stuff you feel me? that's what this type of stuff you're gonna see happening man to where these um you know they gonna be you know some of these these uh that you know they're gonna be hanging on to the, like they uh their retirement plan is gonna be their daughters just like in these other countries you see where they don't have a problem with them marrying a foreigner as long as you can give them a, a like a better style of living but you have to take their whole you know what i'm saying see and it's a lot like you see on youtube but see it's a lot that these people don't show you it's like they dealing with the whole family too you know they not just bringing up the daughter or whoever they marry whatever they're bringing up the whole family you see what i'm saying it's a lot they don't show you You got to deal with the whole thing so it's like a trade-off too so yeah you're gonna start seeing stuff like that man in some places they eat you know certain places they eat uh man you know like like just like here man the fishing laws with the inflation and like the food prices you would think that the fishing laws would just get more lax man to where people can actually eat and fish and you know they should like raise the i mean i know it's, it's these rivers and lakes and i mean oceans overfished already but man it's getting to the point to where you know you they they should actually lack some of the fishing laws man you, you know that way but yeah man um but yeah sir i think in the philippines they eat dogs man you know what i'm saying in the philippines they call it like adobe or something i forgot i saw like yeah, but it's like a certain, you know, yeah, but like certain places, you know, and, and see, they think American laws don't govern the world. American laws just govern America. But who's to say who is right and who is wrong? Like, just look at some of the countries over there. Look at their women and compare them to American women. You see what I'm saying? And I, I had a good topic I thought I was going to get to today, but I don't have it. I didn't, I usually when I get a workout and I could, yeah, but see, social media has turned, especially American women, just turned American women into monsters, man. Like, even like, what is that, Jada Pinkett? She, she looked like an elf, man. Like, on, remember that game Gauntlet? She looked like the elf on there when she was wearing all that green and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Just like a monster, like video game characters. You see what I'm saying? So how can one country say something about another country's laws when... These laws aren't even holding, like, just look at what you're creating. Look at what the American, look at what the laws here are creating versus these other countries. Look at their laws. So who's to say who's right and who's wrong, man? You know, and don't let these people tell you what they won't do. You know, they so good at that. Dude. They like to say what they won't do and they'll never do, man. Don't believe these people. These two, the deep girl, don't put nothing past nobody. You know, don't, don't do it don't don't put nothing past nobody they love talking about what they won't do and they'll never do get out of here save it you know what i'm saying they you know they so good at trying to tell and then they good at trying to tell like uh other people what you can and can't do you could be anything you want to do you could you could start a youtube channel today and by the end of this year have a million subscribers hundred thousand subscribers anything is possible you just have to use your brain and create a product that's all you have to do is create a product don't let these people tell you what you can't do 
They love doing that, telling other people what they can't do because they ain't never made it. Because they haven't amounted to nothing. So they want to stop everybody else from amounting to nothing. Some of these people, they just need to shut it. They need to zip their mouth, man, and let, and let people prosper. You know what I'm saying? Get out the way. If you're not helping folks, get out the way, man. If you're not pulling people out the fire, get out the way. Move. Move over. Let you know. Because you I'm telling you, like, 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 and and see too, like, these miserable people, they wanna be like the majority. That's why they all like just group together. You see what I'm saying? So that's why sometimes it's good to get away from them. Move. Do your own thing. That way you can stay positive. Sometimes the only way to stay positive is to roll by yourself because there's a lot of misery going on. There's a lot of agony. And it's and it's on these people's faces too. So you could just see it. Some of these people look so damn miserable, man. But yeah, but yeah, don't let it get you down, gentlemen. You gotta keep grinding, keep kicking, keep chopping wood, keep promoting good work, fighting a good fight, man. And good stuff is gonna happen, sir, yes, sir.